Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, and I'm getting ready to bring you your energy update. And of course, I already have three cards laid out for you guys, so don't forget, flip the rolls, take what you need, leave the rest, and please use the spirit of discernment. Do not force the message to fit, okay? So these are collective. Um, however, you guys, make sure you hit the like button, the thanks button, subscribe button, depending on where you are viewing from. I do encourage you to go and subscribe to my YouTube um, as well. I do extended readings there. Um, also, I do personal reading, so you can click the link in the detail box below this video if you are watching from YouTube. If you're watching from Instagram or TikTok, go to my bio and you will see my website link there, okay? I don't know um, what timeline you're on. I could be seeking a past energy, present energy, or future energies for any one of you. Stay encouraged. That's all I, that's all I say, okay? Um, definitely, if it doesn't resonate with you, it's not for you, all right? So don't try to force it to fit. I really, really 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 like to enforce to use your spirit of discernment your intuition is your best friend boom okay now um however the cards i got for you is appreciation a man holding a heart and the door to spirit okay and basically what i'm seeing here is that it's something that could have definitely dissatisfied you at some point in your story with someone in particular right it could be a family member it could be a friend love interest or however or it could be just something in your love life but with this man holding a heart right this man definitely represents um somebody connected with emotions and love and this could be you this could be somebody connected to you i'm not sure so you already know what it is right first person come to mind bam there you go okay but however what i'm hearing is that you know somebody has definitely been doing a lot of self-reflecting and either this person is going to come through with a message or um, they're coming through balance in their emotions. Very balanced. Okay. Um, definitely some type of new beginning that's taking place here in your situation. Because with this door to spirit that represents your new beginning, it reminds me of your vortex. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Abraham Hicks, but Abraham Hicks always speaks about your vortex. This is where your desires are. And this door is open right now. Okay. So there's a lot of changes that are happening here, but this is at the core of your being is how I'm seeing it. Um, it says here, as such, this card can herald your increasing powers in spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spiritual presence or more powerful in your own healing practices now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of the spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity okay um this is the source of all true value and power and you got orbs of light that are guiding you through okay on the earthly plane coming from the spiritual realm, like literally to help you to have this deeper understanding of your internal identity. And with this, this is like a very expansive energetic realm, all right? So this is where the new beginnings actually literally originate. So I'm gonna pull tarot because we're gonna see what's up, okay? So otherwise, it's a spiritual awakening happening here. I feel like it's happening for the both of you, right? In some kind of way. You're getting this new beginning here. So stay in a state of appreciation, right? Because this is what gets that door open. Um, to what inspiration comes out. I don't know if y'all can see it. Try to get a little closer. In the Ace of Emotions. That's like the Ace of Cups. All right. So this is like, again, some type of new relationship that's getting ready to take place. Some new feelings emerging. Um, some type of excitement. Whatever it is, is definitely very compassionate. And I feel like here... Again, it's like some type of new beginning when it comes to a particular relationship here in your life, okay? Now, trust your intuition most definitely because you got to stay connected to your emotions. This is not a time to be repressed in those emotions. But what I see with the two of inspiration is like, keep looking ahead, keep planning, okay? It's like it's on the horizon. It's one of these things where you may have been like, you know, what the heck is happening to my life right now, right? Especially my love life or particular connection that you may have with someone just hasn't been working out. A lot of delays and obstacles is what I'm hearing. But um, with the two of inspiration, it's about seeking new paths for yourself, moving past your comfort zone. All right, so new experiences and things 
it's, it says the two of inspiration sees her desires on the horizons. And that's just basically what I said. It's like, it's going to be the arrival of an opportunity. And it happens when you activate that heart space, right? Because that's usually the way it flows. It's like when you're opening your heart space, then guess what? You're opening up yourself to receive. Okay. So definitely look And the card beside me was awakening. Okay. So there is definitely some type of spiritual awakening. And even as you can see, it's coming from her heart space, right? Going straight up into the spirit room. Um, wow. Tell me about this man holding a heart. High priestess. So this man holding a heart is definitely, again, balancing their emotions. It's like they're now listening to their intuition. Okay. This person was not listening to their intuition and maybe even manipulative. But however, they're listening to the downloads that they're receiving. They're getting a lot of esoteric knowledge even coming from the spirit realm. And they're ready to take some type of chance. The fool card comes out. Okay, so wow, somebody's ready to risk it all is what I'm hearing. Uh, all right, five of materials is in the reverse. That's like the five of pentacles. So whatever the hardships were or are, it's about to be a lot of positive changes. And all this person needed to do was to take a leap, take a leap of faith into the unknown. That's where the fear was coming from. And I feel like this person now sees, right, spiritually see because they are awakening. They're going through some type of awakening here. Um, they can spiritually see where before they couldn't see. I don't know if you guys can, can connect to what I'm trying to say. It's like, you know how sometimes where you, you, you can spiritually see with your, with your third eye, you get this intuitive knowing you just know. And then sometimes when you're, you're stuck with confusion, worry, fear, things like that, it blocks your vision. Okay, this person can now see they, their eyes are open. They have this clarity here, but it's coming from a higher perspective. 701 is on my timer. All right, so this is this is finally what's getting this door open. I remember speaking about this maybe last year or something where it was the masculine, the masculine energies were not connecting to their intuition. Okay, so the queen of materials comes out. That's like the queen of pentacles. I just seen 717 on the timer. This could be you if you're the feminine energy. You're definitely somebody who's a healthy balance here. So show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Inspiration. Ace of Wands. Guess what? Another new beginning, right? A lot of clarity. A lot of clarity coming through. Creativity and everything. Let me look up the Ace of Inspirations real quick. So basically, positive new beginnings. Wow. Opportunities, new cycles of manifestations, downloads, everything coming through. You're pushing through the blocks. Okay. So whatever has been blocking you, you're getting this new experience. And it's going to bring a lot of stuff into your reality at this point. Okay. Now, um, like, I, I, like I just heard is like, hey, what is it? It was just right there on the tip of my tongue. It's just like a favorable outcome. Thank you. You get ready to get a very favorable outcome, a fresh, new, positive beginning, especially when it comes to love, a relationship, a new relationship or new feelings emerging, creativity, emotional intelligence, whatever that is. It's just like a lot of healing. So whatever has been blocking you energetically, I'm seeing things is just opening up. I'm hearing do not fear, okay? So let me pull. There's no need to fear. When you're connected to Source God, anything is possible. <clears throat> yeah, because someone has suffered a lot of emotional loss. You don't even got to focus on that. This is now the time to tune into your intuition, right? Because your intuition is going to guide you and help you to make the best choices for yourself. Um, yeah, choose wisely. It's going to help you to make the best choices for yourself, okay? Because you have you have a, a vision or a goal of what you actually want to achieve, okay? So now is the time to be able to tap into your intuition and leave the ego to the side um, and have that hope so that you can be able to bring your vision, your goal, your desire into fruition. And that's what's happening. Sacrifice. 
been a lot of sacrifices that have been made. Now stay tuned for part two.